Ubiquity, you are such a tease. Here you go putting out beautifully polished videos and I can't even get the product for another month. At least. I'm sure you've already seen the video, so I'm not going to play it in its entirety, but I will go through the individual products that are featured here and why I'm so excited about them. Most namely, did Ubiquity perfect the doorbell? So first up is the G6 Pro Entry, and I think that this is possibly the perfected doorbell experience. We get the best of the Intercom and the Reader Pro combined into a much smaller package with what looks like incredible specifications. And I don't know if I ever mentioned, but I absolutely love the way that they're bringing Protect and Access together, for example, being able to use the cameras that are on the Access control readers as part of the regular Protect video camera system and being able to record only events or all the time, etc. This new doorbell continues to expand that with having the full access control of Face ID, Touch Pass, and the regular fob entry. Now this is actually perfect timing for me because I'm about to replace the front door at my house. Right now I have a much older double door and I never open the second door and the way that this older door works is it has like a latch that catches together but all it has is a deadbolt. There is no actual turning handle on it. And I've hated that for a long time. So we're going to upgrade that to just one door, which means we're going to put the wall panels on the side to fill the space, which would be perfect to run cabling for this to get a proper wired PoE doorbell in there. Is this meant for home users? Eh, perhaps not, but that's why they have the other entry options and so on. If you want the similar features, you can of course go with the G6 entry, which doesn't have the screen, but does have a lot of the same features, such as the camera, the light, and the package, dedicated package camera below. And the doorbell light is just clever. They took a tiny little doorbell, threw a camera on it, and integrated it directly into Unify. $99 is an excellent price point for this. Okay, that's it for the doorbells. I'm extremely excited about those, if you can't obviously tell. Uh, looks like the G6 Pro entry and regular entry are shipping Q4 2025. At the time of filming, I'm not yet seeing the doorbell light listed on the website, so I can't give you a timeline of that when that... Oh, I'm a liar. It's here now. Uh, the doorbell light is shipping October 25, so possibly sooner than the other ones. And if you want more details, obviously, the product pages are on the site as usual. And as soon as Ubiquity sends these over to me, I will be installing and we'll be testing them because, um, yeah, these are awesome. I have a bunch of different clients that I am confident were, are going to be interested in these and uh, continue to expand the lineup. So we have the doorbell light in October, the G6 Pro entry and G6 entry standard uh, shipping in Q4 2025. But that's not all Ubiquity dropped this morning. They also announced some new interesting looking switches, which I know absolutely nothing about. Looks like we have the EAV aggregation, EAV 24 port PoE, and EAV bridge. These are all going to be at Cedia this week, so more details will likely come out on that, probably on the Reddit and Facebook groups for whoever is there. Um, I guess I should have gone. If they're going to have, you know, these amazing announcements, I could have been filming them. Crap. <laughs> That'll teach me. Next year. That being said, looks like Pro AV is about to get a huge upgrade. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully this was helpful. It's the first time I'm doing a kind of uh, let's take a look at the announcement video style without the actual physical products on hand. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Please drop your questions and comments down below because I will be getting these in hand. And when I do, I'll be doing a test and I will refer back to this video uh, so that I can try my best to answer all of your questions. As always, thanks for watching.